find a way to and I'm registering to vote. I managed to make the October 18th registration deadline and decided to register at the booth in the quarry. I asked the students at the booth to help me register. I was handed a simple form and filled it out. Okay, I filled out my form and I'm going to turn it and see what they say. Make sure you go out 9 and 10 and then one of these on 11 and then um, check oh, the county and make sure you initial here so be... you want to do mail ballot. Okay. okay, let me know if you have questions. The girls were very helpful so far, but I thought it was time to ask them about more serious questions pertaining to the election. And then, do you know any of the stuff on the ballot? Yeah, the props? Yeah. Yeah, there's, um, I know Prop 19, that's the legalized marijuana one, and then there's like three more, I want to say. Next week, we're doing our education, and we have, okay. um, but in the mail, you'll get your, um, sample ballot and you don't have all that stuff. Okay. Is there anything else I need to know as a first time voter? No, as a first time voter, I mean it's just really important that you register. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Thank you very Make much. Make sure you vote. Okay. <laughs> People Council 21. I don't remember. What about, what's the one about um, the 25 is the two thirds for the, or the simple majority for the budget. Okay. Um, 26 is I think 21 is like a tax. I, I, let me get a book. I'll get I'll, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so Prop 19 is for the legalization of, mar of marijuana. Prop 20 is the congressional redistricting by commission. Um, 21 is for state parks. 22 is for transportation and local government funds. 23 is for global warming. Um, 24 is for business taxes. 25 is for um, the state budget. Um, for it to be passed by a super majority, and then 26 is for taxes and fees, and 27 is for redistricting by legislature. Uh, where do you live off campus? Okay. And then it what? just tells you. Yeah, yeah, so each page will give you a, a very, you know, pro and against each of them, and tell you the pluses and the minuses. It was looking like I was going to have to read up on my own, but I was determined to find someone who was politically conscious to answer my questions. Somebody had to know more about at least one of the propositions. Luckily, I spotted some students who had a campaign table on Prop 23. I want to know more about the propositions that I'm going to vote for, so I'm going to ask Calperg some questions. Well, Proposition 23 would reverse AB 32, which is California's global warming and clean energy law. And um, pretty much that would increase air pollution, stifle our clean energy economy, and add to global warming. But it was written by two Texas oil companies, Tesoro and Valero, and pretty much um, passing Prop 23 would protect their business interests, but hurt Californians. And do you know if Jerry Brown or Meg Whitman are in support or not in support of this proposition? They're actually both against it. I wanted to see if other students were just as confused as I was on t which prop to vote for and who to vote for. So I went to the quarry to get some opinions. And are you registered to vote? Yeah. And what proposition are you excited to vote for this year? Um, definitely Prop 19. And what is Prop 19 about? Um, it's about legalizing, um, is it marijuana? Yeah. And um, do you have any more information about this proposition? Um, no, just that I personally think it would be a benefit to California. So are you registered to vote? I am. And what propositions are you excited to vote for? Um, I mean, the only one that I've really heard about is Proposition 21 and how uh, it's basically talking about state parks and how they do have like a bigger like revenue so that it can bring money to the state. And basically it's trying to like, I'm not exactly sure what it's trying to pass, but it's trying to pass that we're trying, I think it's trying to like not take them away. Um, because they do have that income and that's something that we need right now. And that's, I've pretty much heard of like just from TV and stuff like that. Okay, and um, who are you planning on voting for this year for governor? <sighs> um, I'm not sure at all. Yeah, yeah, I haven't really like looked. I mean, I'm at that time, I think I'm gonna start looking some stuff up so I kind of have a little bit more idea, but it's like right now I haven't really done much yet. Okay. <laughs> and are you registered to vote? Yes, I am. Um, do you know any propositions that you want to vote for right now? No, I don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Do you know who you're voting for? I haven't decided yet. Okay. And are you registered to vote? I am. Um, what proposition are you going to vote for this year? Or are you excited to vote yeah, for? Yeah. Is it 23, which is the one, uh, I think it's about oil. I'm probably going to vote the way uh, <laughs> I'm horribly underinformed, but uh, I think it's a no on 23. 
is the way I'm going to vote because it sounds like the the oil interests are trying to pass it through sort of underneath the radar. Uh -huh. Okay. And do you know who you're going to vote for as in, in terms of governor? Jerry Brown. Um, not so much because of him, just because Meg Whitman seems like the much worse choice. Um, <laughs> she... I don't think she has too much sympathies towards uh, immig uh, immigrants. She fired her housekeeper of many years after she found out she was undocumented. Um, so that's not too much evidence, but it's enough for me to vote off of, I think. Okay, and if you had the choice, would you vote for the governor again? Um, it's interesting. I know my mom voted for him, and I, I tried to dissuade her. I think that I'm looking forward to his return to action movies. Uh, <laughs> I think he does better work there, but um, yeah, it was an interesting experiment, certainly. With this, I decided that I was better off reading my booklet to decide how to vote. In search for answers, I found a very useful website called cowvoter.org, along with a proposition song that explains each proposition on the ballot in a comico tune. It is important to look at both sides of an issue in all the candidates, no matter how much they spend on advertising. Lack of knowledge in politics in the U.S. probably explains the inconsistencies between the high voter registration and low registered voter turnout. According to statistics compiled from the CIA World Factbook, the United States ranks in the top for voter registration compared to other world countries, and they rank number 60 for voter turnout. I urge people to take elections seriously and to realize that registering alone will not have any political impact. This was Win with Jessica Herrera on Banana Slug News signing off.